how many times he'd uh, practiced with a 5-1 to chip disadvantage. I mean, that's the biggest problem. He could be the best heads-up player in the world and he'd still be at a huge disadvantage here. 100,000. Finden bets and Sebastian pass. Check bet, fold. That's the start of your downfall, Sebastian. <laughs> you on tilt? <laughs> oh, how can you not, how can you not like Vincent Gavin? I hope he comes back. I don't have favourites, James. I saw. No, actually. So Vincent Gavin putting out the big blind of 100,000. Sebastian Ruthenberg posts the small blind of 50,000 and will be under the gun on this hand. Sebastian Paul, big blind check. No one wanting to raise any of these pots pre-flop. Where's all the aggression gone? Yeah, it's interesting. King, three, four. Check. Fins and check. 120. I can understand Sebastian, Sebastian not raising pots because he'll and figure, he with all due respect to Finn Gavin, he'll figure he's a better player and he uh, will back his judgment even with the short chip stack of uh, Gavin. And he takes down a small pot. Although, of course, none of them are small for Vincent now. With 10 big blinds, 10, 11 big blinds around that, around that area. He certainly can't play a raised pot and get away from it, I don't think. I guess if it was a, I guess if it was a small raise, maybe, but yeah. Really, if he, if he makes a raise and Sebastian puts him all in, he's kind of going to be committed with his stack. On to the next hand. And the 172 of this final table. Sebastian Pass. Last let on. <laughs> we never know. Oh, it's me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. He's gone all Unabomber on us. He's gone all hoodie and big glasses on us. Yeah, Benjamin Kang was telling me that he feels more comfortable, he feels more in the zone if he has the hood up, and apparently those are Jan Heitman sunglasses, and those are the glasses he was wearing when he took down Chris Ferguson in that World Series Championship event. I'm all in. All in. <laughs> Finton raised and calls. This and could be it. Call. This could be the last hand. Finton raised all in with 7 4 off suit. 7 and 4 King off suit. Of clubs for Sebastian. The Finn Gavin, King 9. Well, for Ruthenberg. He's still got he's still got just under, I would guess, just under a 40% chance to, to double up. Thing. And that's why he's, he was never going to sit around for long, but he does need to hit. There's a 7. 7 in the door for Finton Gavin. Pair of 7s for Finton. Finton is in the lead. King 9. Does not want to see King on the nine. He's in the lead. Those are the outs seven. that Ruthenberg has. Or Finn will double Bergen up. There's the King. king. <laughs> There's several redraws now though. Finton needs a seven, a seven or a four or a half. Or a, a four he a or a half. Well He's got the flush draw. The last card is not a seven. Otherwise, not we'll a have a champion, a James. We have a decision. Seven, four, a heart on the river, or it's Let's over. See the river card. It's a nine of times. So this is over. Decision. Two pairs for Sebastian Ruthenberg. He eliminates Finn Gavin. He will be the runner-up here in Barcelona. He will win 792,000 euros. Sebastian Ruthenberg, having made the final table in Dortmund in season three, in the inaugural event of season five, he takes the title of Barcelona. He takes the first prize of 1.36 million euros. He'll lift the trophy, and we will see him, of course, in the grand final in Monte Carlo. Yeah, you have to say a fantastic performance from him. He came into the final table as one of the chip leaders and uh, he's converted that chip lead. He nursed his chip stack very cleverly in the early going. We didn't see much of him, did we? Didn't it was see him so in quiet. Much. Yeah, and I wouldn't be surprised if that was a game plan coming in. Keep your head down during those early stages and then when you're down to a few players, attack, consolidate, build and win. And he'll look back, and we'll all look back on that call he made when they were three-handed, when uh, Finton Gavin raised him on the river, and he found a call with a pair of sevens. That was a bit of class, and uh, he looks like a really class player, doesn't he?
a World Series championship bracelet in the summer. And he begins his autumn here in Barcelona with an EPT title. And obviously we'll have the official presentation very shortly, but first he'll have the pleasure, he'll have the honor of talking to EPT host Kara Scott. And most players who get to talk to Kara have been eliminated. Uh, congratulations, Sebastian Ruthenberg. You have had a storming year. You have a World Series of Poker championship bracelet, and now you have an EPT title. You must be feeling amazing. It's really amazing. Um, um, it's a lot of money for me, and um, I'm a huge luck box. <laughs> so it's uh, really nice to, to uh, win a title here um, in uh, Barcelona. Um, at the EPT Barcelona, yeah. It's an incredibly emotional yeah. moment as well. Incredibly, though, you were so even-tempered, you were so relaxed at the table, and you were such a joy to watch. We're so proud of you, and well done for being the newest champion, the first champion here for Season 5 for the European Poker Tour. Well done, Sebastian Ruthenberg. Thank you. Well, we've seen some great poker over the last two days. And we're going to do it all again in London. Don't forget that will be the next leg of this season of the EPT from the 1st to the 5th of October. And EPT Live will return then. A lot of people for us to thank, Nick. Obviously, thanks to you. <laughs> thanks, James. Thanks to you. Good job, buddy. Thanks also to Benjamin Kang, John Duffy, Chad Brown, Vanessa Russo, Daniel Negreanu. Thanks to everyone who's Alex, done their part. Alex Van Veer, of course. Was awesome. Jan Heitman, Jason Mercier. I mean... To actually be knocked out of a tournament and then come and commentate, <laughs> that takes something special. You've got to, be, got to be in love with poker, haven't you? Uh, yes, yeah, our erstwhile co-commentators across the bottom of the screen for you. They all did a fabulous job. Um, we hope you enjoyed the stream on ET Live. We've got lots more, uh, lots more uh, content for you, haven't we? Not only the EPTs. Got a high roller special in London. Absolutely. Make sure, if you're on PokerStars.tv right now, make sure you check out some of the live coverage of the World Championship of Online Poker events and also those highlights programs, which I know you've Absolutely. been involved in, Nick, which sound fantastic, and they look fantastic. They're entertaining and educational. The fact that you can see all the cards face up. Yeah, just really, really gives you an insight into how these big online tournaments go down. And, uh, yeah, it's fun to do. Check those out, PokerStars.tv. And don't forget, if you live in the U.K., highlights of this event in Barcelona will be on TV soon. Channel 4 will be showing the European Poker Tour highlights programs. Yeah, from November the 11th. Uh, it's really exciting for everybody that are on Channel 4. And, uh, you know, there'll be great shows. We know that. And uh, we look forward to seeing them. And you can see if your judgment was right while you were watching the EPT <laughs> stream and you couldn't see the cards, now you'll be able to. I can tell you that I would have been wrong most of the time. But yeah, there are a few key hands over the course of the last couple of days where we've all been raising questions. We've all been wondering what they were holding. And it'd be fascinating to actually see it. And it's nice to see how pleased uh, Sebastian looks. He really does look made up. And phenomenal breakthrough year for him, isn't it? To get your first bracelet and your first EPT title. Incredible. I mean, obviously, he was a good player before that, but uh, he's shot into the upper echelons of tournament poker now. Yeah, two-thirds of the way along to winning the coveted Triple Crown, the World Series bracelet, the EPT title. The next thing for him will be a WPT title, and I'm sure he'll be giving it a go over the course of the next few months. And I'm sure we'll see him again on the EPT. I'm sure he'll be playing many events this season. Look at that case full of money. Want to be careful leaving the casino with that. We well, want to be careful leaving it there. I'm quite fast. I reckon I can be in and out. <laughs> Just as you grab it, all these security guys will come out the woodwork. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like my chances, if I'm honest. It was a crazy idea, but as it's just gone one o'clock in the morning, I'll forgive you. Thanks, Joe. Give me my planned theft on air. So, 619 players, and this guy beat them all. Sebastian Ruthenberg becomes the first champion of this season of the EPT. And as I was saying to Alex earlier on, a European champion finally after <laughs> a run of North American victories. Coming over here, stealing our tournaments. 
obviously we love literally seeing them. Hand